How's it going, everyone? What's up? Happy holidays. It's the, this is Thanksgiving week. It is. It is, yeah. It is. We're, we're flash forward in time. We're actually recording this a week before, but we were looking ahead at, to the days off next week and we're thinking, you know what? What is y'all's favorite part about Thanksgiving? The days off. It is a universally guilt-free calorie day. It is. Mm -hmm. Where calories, they don't count anymore on Thanksgiving, so you can really fuck it up and go hard. So before we get too far into it, uh, let's go ahead and introduce us guys and gal. I am Cole. I'm Kyle. I'm Maggie. Uh, and I'm Sam. Maggie, what's your favorite part of Thanksgiving? Ideally, when I don't have to see people. I'm sure people have a mm. lot of opinions about this year, but I am pretty stoked to get to stay home for once and not like, God, seeing family. Like, I love my family. It's fucking stressful. That's the worst part about Thanksgiving. <laughs> we here at, uh, I guess, at Top Tier decided, you know what? Let's once and for all put it to bed. What is the golden honey? of Thanksgiving food. And we're gonna try things a little differently this time. We're each going to be making our own list, but at the end of the uh, episode, we will decide what top tier's official golden honey of Thanksgiving meals are. And before any of you shout at me, hey, my favorite food's not there. We went with the most popular list. I almost wish that it was even a little thinner, like, it just said pie instead of apple or pumpkin because uh, uh, my family we yeah, have a lot of pecan yeah. pie so if it just said pie we could kind of throw out their and gravy different kinds of gravy i don't do white gravy oh white gravy some old dumb bullshit we're gonna get into gravy we're gonna get into pie we're gonna get into stuffing but first we have to get into what is considered by most the king of all food so we're starting turkey then is yeah it's, it's it's they're the first on the list Turkey. Turkey, and this is this is a wild one because like the golden honey as it stands is gonna be contentious, right? Yes. Yes. And I feel like a lot of people are gonna think turkey naturally. I do think it's up there, but I don't know if it's golden honey. But the, the I'll come right out the gate yeah. and say that the turkey is often the weakest part of the Thanksgiving meal for me. Really? How is the fam preparing the turkey? Oh, I've had tons of turkeys prepared differently, and it's always mm. just a bird that has slight seasoning it makes you sleepy too turkey's the thing i'm always gonna get seconds of because it's like the one time a year you eat a turkey right, right. but yes. i do like i think it's a b tier i think turkey's just middling for thanksgiving i think that's also its weak point though is that you eat so much of it like the next th weekend after thanksgiving you are eating turkey sandwiches to the point that you're sick of turkey by the time it's yeah, done yeah. and i think that is the last thought you have leaving the thanksgiving experience is I've had too much turkey. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, the only point of the turkey is for the leftover sandwiches. Yes. The day after sandwich might actually be the secret golden honey in my yeah. heart, but... The fact that I don't got to buy food for the next three days because I'm finishing off yeah. the leftovers. See, I'm leaning towards <laughs> turkey in the A tier because that's the center of the meal. So, like, if you get that wrong, then Thanksgiving's ruined. I think it's the opposite. I think the turkey's the same kind of always. You know that meme where it's the guy looking back at the girl in the red dress or whatever? Yeah. Yes. A gassed, upset girlfriend is turkey in the red dress is ham like no no no, no, no i no, see no. you i yeah. see what are you no. doing because it's, it's like it's turkey day you're eating the turkey you gotta put all your you effort into turkey fucking ham, ham how do you screw up a how ham the, how do you what? go up, you no. go no, you can't you're... screw up a ham so sam it's fine yeah no i i, I agree know. with sam agree with like you. i'm all about the ham like i will get more pieces of ham than turkey i will get like one piece of turkey and then like three pieces of ham oh come on ham's yeah. just like the same throughout but with turkey you got like you got the breast meat you got the what? white meat you got the dark meat you like you got so many Where options is the your, like light meat dark meat break off on turkey like i've always been majority dark, dark meat majority yeah, dark, dark meat because i i'm, I, I'm all about that's it. the reason yeah. i don't like turkeys because the majority of the meat is dry well i think if you deep fry them they get mm -hmm. that's when they're the best mm -hmm. the best turkeys ever that had is the only fried, that is the only that is a turkey thanksgiving turkey i have not had i would love to try it i i challenge my friends and family like please give me a turkey that i like also it's it's a little dangerous yeah it, deep frying it little dangerous can make thanksgiving that much more exciting you know turns it into a true american holiday <laughs> does anyone have any more to say about ham it's the jam it should be it should have some sort of slightly sweet glaze about yes. it. yeah like yes. a honey yeah. honey honey glazed ham is the way that you yes. do it like yeah uh, if if we yeah. were just saying honey glazed had... ham then this would be up to b for me but if it's like if we're this well, just is ham so well, i don't know what kind of ham i'm ham, getting it's it's I think yeah. you're putting it ham as best prepared or as prepared in your family, right? Mm. Like, yeah. and that's how mine always comes. Pumpkin pie. Uh, eh. I'm not a fan of pumpkin pie. I got, so that's I got low a wild for me. one. I'm throwing it in you're fucking it D in the tier. D -tier. I just don't even I care agree. about it. I agree. I don't care about Whoa. pumpkin pie. Maggie and Sam would have a good time at Thanksgiving together is what I'm learning. <laughs> 
Well, let's see when it comes to the contentious bread round that I feel is soon. Oh, there's a oh, yeah. there's a bread battle royale about to happen. I'm also Ooh, just gonna go yeah. ahead and throw red wine up in A really oh, fast. Oh yeah, I should do that too. Yeah. Without, like, some I'm sort also of gonna put sparkling uh, sparkling juice up there at least because as a kid it was fun to swish it around and being this is my kid wine. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. with you. Yeah. Sparkling juice also as a grown up too, you can steal yeah. the kids' sparkling juice yeah. and then you can just put hard booze in it. Exactly. It still slaps real hard. Yeah, everyone doesn't like the pumpkin pie. Wow. Well, okay. if it if it had whipped cream on it, then yeah. Mm. Yes, well it does. Yes, yes. Pumpkin pies, I it's just so single texture. If you ever find a pumpkin pie where it's got the the entire top is covered in like pecans or walnuts or something, instantly Ooh. boom up to the beach yeah. here. But I I've never had that pumpkin pie at like yeah, we, at a Thanksgiving. We talked about that sort of pumpkin pie in a meeting, and I have just been thinking about it nonstop <laughs> since then. I really don't give a shit about an apple oh, pie. Oh, what are you talking about? Apple pie. I that's love S -tier. apple pie. Easy. I have never seen an apple pie at Thanksgiving. The apple one for me is a C. But yeah. if we're going to assume it's all a mode, yeah, you got it's coming it. one up. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, this is how we're doing okay. it. Okay, fine, fine. See, it's in my S tier right now, because <laughs> apple pie, mmm. Mm. Do we want to start the crumbletting right now? Oh, yeah, let's do, do it. It's just going to be just like this. All three A tier. Every single bread is the fucking best. If, if I went to a Thanksgiving and they had biscuits, cornbread, and dinner rolls, I'd be getting seconds of all of them, guaranteed. So then, what is the one? You're only allowed to get yeah. seconds of one. What do you get? It's certainly between cornbread or dinner rolls, and it just kind of depends on mm. who, who did it, who messed up the best. If it's that cornbread yeah. where it's like a little sweet, they got the honey glaze on top, but it's also maybe they put a little jalapeno, it's that spicy sweet thing. Oh my God, it's the best cornbread in the world. I actually, I don't like dinner rolls. You don't like dinner rolls? I don't like their, they are butter delivery vehicles. Well, mm. well yeah, that's the point. Butter's yeah. delicious. Now see, for me, the biscuits, it really depends on is it a crumbly biscuit or is it the flaky biscuit? Flaky biscuit, awesome. Crumbly biscuit, eh, unless it's with uh, gravy and sausage, like for the, yes. you know. Get your fucking white gravy out here. We don't need it on our biscuits. I didn't say which kind of gravy. I didn't say which kind of gravy. You can do it with dark I gravy. I knew what you fucking meant, though. Corns are the fucking jam. Did you just, did you just fucking D tier Brussels I sprouts? I did. Are They're disgusting. <gasps> They're like, How Satan dare. made them oh one God. night and Fuck, then just convinced no. people they were good. I think you've just had healthy Brussels sprouts. I'm talking yeah, about crispy. Possibly. Like they put them in with the bacon fat. Oh my fucking God, the Brussels sprouts are good. I've like. never had good Brussels sprouts and they just, that's where they end up. They go down in D tier. Green beans, however, I hate with a passion. Like if there was a lower tier than D, oh my God. that's where I'd put them. Cause oh I my. hate, I hate, hate, hate green beans. So Kyle's not welcome at Thanksgiving. Like I'll, I'll put Brussels sprouts in C tier just cause there could be a good one. I don't know, but green beans, they're staying down there. But I do think green bean casseroles is probably the greatest cultural uh, addition that the whites have given. <laughs> like, cause I'm pretty sure that's us, right? Like, I mean, we uh, probably stole it to be honest, but Green bean casserole to me is the most Caucasian family shit you can eat. It is a banger. Green bean casserole is the most Thanksgiving food. I don't know if oh, I, yeah. I don't know if it's my personal golden honey, because that, that's saved for later. Uh, have we decided where squash goes? I I, I, I kind of threw it in C because I'm like whatever on it. And I like squash. I just think on the day, like it's also like when it, we also have this roasted vegetable one, which in my brain is how the squash comes. Ooh, interesting. It's set up yeah. with the roasted vegetables. It's like you got the squash and the carrots and like maybe some turnip and shit in there, right? And the sweet potato casserole though. Sweet potato casserole is my is my strongest. I love it. Sweet potato casserole is like the comeback story in my opinion because I as a child hated it couldn't stand it now as an adult love it it's awesome let's be honest here it's dessert passing as a side <laughs> it really is uh it's we put a cake in here <laughs> don't don't notice me we've garnished this um, cake with some vegetables somewhere in there another thanksgiving only food that i i can't stand it actually is jellied car cranberries really uh, i've never tried it i love both the it's... jelly cranberry sauce and the regular cranberry sauce. They're like, they're mm, mm, up there for me. I realize I'm lacking a tier here. You ain't got no S, Sam. No S. No, no S, S tier. No. Yeah. I gotta add a row above. Okay, this changes everything. I've noticed I formed a like a line with corn where it's just like, it's like the Mendoza line, but for food. If you can get past <laughs> corn, you're I guess you're ending up in S, except for sparkling juice. Ham yeah. goes here with yeah, the corn tier. Like, that's right. This is what that's separates right. bad from good. Sam's like done. <laughs> well, 
I'm, I know what I want. I'm so hungry. Yeah, this is, like, this, we're doing this at dinner time, so this is like hurting me. I always like relate mash and mac and cheese like as like a thing. Yeah, because you are, they, they literally sit next to each other on the plate, right? And you, can, like, you like and you secretly kind of mix them up. You get some yeah, mashed sure. potato mac and cheese. Sometimes it's hard to be mean to food. I'm realizing this. I'm trying to wheel down my S. I feel like I got too much in S. Yeah. I'm looking at Kyle. Half of the fucking list is S, which I mean, it's Thanksgiving. It's fucking delicious. <sighs> Let me do some pruning. What's, what's the difference between pruning. scalloped and mashed? Scalloped, it's like it becomes a texture thing. So like the scalloped, it's think like they're sliced, not quite as thin as a potato chip, but you know, pretty, pretty thin. And then you have this cheese sauce in it and then you bake it. So it gets a nice crust on top and mmm. Mmm, yeah, it's good. If you were to ask me, it's like, do you want scalloped potatoes or mashed potatoes? I want scalloped nine out of ten times, except for when there's a whole plate of other stuff, and I need to make weird little sandwiches and stuff, and the mashed potatoes plays a crucial structural role in all of this. The glue, the adhesive, yeah. Yeah, you gotta have the mashed potatoes, and then when you combine it with gravy, like, if they could do a fusion dance, that might be golden honey for me, like, mashed potatoes and gravy. But since they're separate, but you can have yeah. that any time. Yeah. Gravy, yeah. I think it, the the heavy lifter of the entire meal. Mm -hmm. It goes on so much, like it, it, practically everything. By the time you're done with the meal, the gravy's touched everything. Roasted vegetables, okay. I like them. They they belong on the table. I for me, it's not a top. Neither am I. I can move roasted veggies down here, and then stuffing. Stuffing it for me ends up on that like line between what's good and what's not. It's it's fine, and you don't ever have it except for Thanksgiving. That's why I think stuffing is my golden honey. Mm. Is when I think about the one thing I'm gonna miss, like not having a traditional Thanksgiving this year, probably the stuffing. I think ah. that's the thing I'm gonna, and it, like that's obviously, I think it's just a, a certain scenario because my mom makes like the fucking most godly stuffing in the world and it's like wildly good. The thing with stuffing is that stuffing is so unique to your personal Thanksgiving experience. Yeah, it is. Two families cannot have the same stuffing. You're doing mm -hmm. different things to that stuffing. You're cooking it like <laughs> it's the most unique food on this entire list. I was wondering where everybody ranked wine. Yep, yep, it's all, it's all <laughs> up there. Yeah. It's all That's up what there. I was thinking, was like, is wine yeah. the real golden honey? That's what like, I'm we're wondering. Just alcohol I, in general. Yeah. I'm about to have red wine tonight. Nice. Right? What is the golden honey? I mean, for me, it is sweet potato casserole. Yeah, see, I was wondering about mashed potatoes, but without the gravy, I that can't. I was I wanted to put it as my golden honey, but it's only with the gravy. Is gravy the golden honey? Actually, I'm I'm with you, Kyle. I think gravy is the golden honey. It just it like, goes on everything. It makes it better. So I'm torn between Brussels sprouts and green bean casserole. So I'm not gonna win. <laughs> But green bean casserole is so Thanksgiving. I know, and it's like, you don't have to put gravy on it. But you can. It is not better with gravy. I will my fight The only you. thing not with, better with gravy. Without the gravy. Nope, everything is yeah. better with gravy. <laughs> Even, Even wine. wine. <laughs> yeah, not the wine and sparkling juice. Yeah, gravy is golden honey, because most of this shit isn't as good as it would be without the gravy. The gravy mm -hmm. is, the gravy's playing support in bringing the whole team up. Oh, yeah. And Thanksgiving isn't isn't nothing without that gravy. Obviously, yeah. once again, we're only talking brown gravy, white gravy can go to hell. Analytically speaking, gravy picks up the most weight at Thanksgiving. But what about those people that are like, oh, fuck gravy, I love cranberry sauce. Oh, people that deserve to die? Like, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't want them. They like, get the fuck out of here. Like, you see, gra I, like I like cranberry sauce. sauce. I like, I like no, cranberry like, sauce, which is fine. It's in the A tier, but it's no, it's no golden honey. I guess I'm conceding, spitefully. <laughs> <laughs> To me, it's either gravy or green bean casserole, but I don't think Kyle's gonna let it be green bean casserole just from his pure hatred. Yes, yeah, green I, can't, bean I can't. Like, and I, I but don't can, think. I, can we convince Sam? Not as a golden honey. You can convince me to like bring it up to the S tier because it is super good, but not as a golden honey. <laughs> I'm just looking at the list. The best rating of all of them is wine. <laughs> yeah, it is. it is. I mean, yeah. once again, I'm down to swap yeah. wine out for the hot gilded honey. Like, I'm, I'll go. Yeah, let's do it. Because if we're talking about pulling weight, <laughs> it's talking, definitely, when it comes to family, and it does, it does enhance everything else. It makes everything taste better, whether that's because that's you're getting true. tipsy or it pairs well. Let me walk up to you in February with a green bean casserole. I'll eat the hell you, out of that. Yes, 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 yes. That's not the point. It's 
out of place. Wine's a heavy hitter year round. Mm -hmm. I mean, I never say no to red wine, specifically red wine. I will accept it as the, the winner for the episode. I will accept it as the, the official <laughs> top tiers, number one <laughs> Thanksgiving food. Yeah. Wine! Wine. We did it! Yeah! Wine. Whether it's a cab, Chianti, <laughs> Merlot, or... Cab Sav. Cab Sav. It's just that you know, red wine. Sangio Vases and shit. Oh There's my god! So many options. So Dude, many. So now, no. box small back. <laughs> uh, we'll have to do a red wine tier list eventually. All right, that's official. Wine <laughs> is the king of Thanksgiving. Yeah. Red yeah. wine. True, the true emperor, <laughs> the true ruler of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Miracle, USA. Wine, <laughs> <laughs> USA. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey there, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, while you're here, go ahead and, and like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what other kind of tier list you would want to see, what other shows, games, anything anime related at all. Uh, if you want to see more great content like that, head on over to roosterteeth.com. You can become a first member. We have a ton more to see.